the punji stick trap has been used by the hill tribes of Southeast Asia for thousands of years. This trap was originally designed to capture medium-sized animals. However, for much of recorded history, Southeast Asia, being a tropical region located far from the main trade routes, was a technological backwater. This geographical disadvantage caused the region to be repeatedly invaded by more advanced cultures from the Eurasian temperate zone. One such recorded conflict in the second century BC described an invading Chinese army equipped with steel weapons and armor, mechanical crossbows, and siege engines. The defenders, the hill tribes of northern Vietnam, were principally armed with stone clubs and bronze-tipped spears. In such a disadvantaged environment, the natives of Southeast Asia quickly gave the punji stick trap a secondary occupation, that of disabling invading soldiers and their horses. Now to build this trap, I first collected a number of green hardwood sticks. These sticks are no thicker than a pencil. Then I remove the bark from each stick. If a stick is slightly crooked, I straighten it by light bending. Obvious knots were removed with the knife. The goal here is to get each stick to be smooth, straight, and flexible. This helps with penetration. Next, I carve points on each stick. It is really important that the point smoothly transitions into the body of the stick, as this will dramatically improve the effectiveness of this trap. Now, a single punji stick trap requires five to six such sharpened sticks. It took me about 10 minutes to collect and fabricate five sharpened sticks. Next, we take the hatchet and we craft a digging stick. This is done by finding a stave of dense wood and shaping one end of it into an asymmetric wedge. The digging stick is used to dig the punji trap pit. To maximize the chances of success, we need to place the pit along paths that game animals routinely walk over. So I placed my pit on a deer trail shown here. It is important to get the size of the pit just right. You want to optimize the pit for the game animal that you're trying to catch. The pit should be three times the length and twice the width of the game animal's foot. Additionally, it should be between one to two feet in depth. So I sized my pit using a deer's footprints as a guide. Digging such a pit took me around five minutes. Next, I used the digging stick to create five guide holes at the base of the pit. These holes help firmly seat each stick. Finally, the sharpened stakes were inserted into the guide holes, completing the trap. Now, to camouflage this trap, thin branches covered with leaves were usually placed on top of the pit. When an animal steps into the pit, the sharpened stake pierces the animal's foot or leg, effectively disabling it through agonizing pain. Two additional techniques were used to dramatically increase the effectiveness of this trap. For animals, the sticks were often tipped with a neurotoxin. This was collected from the skin of certain tree frogs. Once injected into the bloodstream, this neurotoxin quickly paralyzes the animal. Now, for injuring humans, a time-tested technique was to smear each sharpened stick with human feces. In a tropical climate, this almost guaranteed a slow, agonizing death for the injured soldier due to infection. Now, this punji stick trap took just 20 minutes to construct. In my opinion, the design is simple, 
fast, and very effective. So the knowledge to create such a trap is very useful to have. With that said, however, the punji stick trap is ridiculously dangerous to human life and really should only be used in an absolute emergency. And because I built this trap just to learn how to do it, I disassembled this trap immediately after I constructed it. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you like this and want to see more, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a bunch, and see you guys later. Bye.